Joe here, hanging out with my friend Il, Ilya Fedorovich. What's up, what's up? He has three LLCs, one in Chicago, two here in LA, and today we're going to be talking- Three in I. Three all in LA, and we're going to talk about how he's made his first three million. Mm. So, Il. Well, it was a combination of dedication, hard work, and a lot of sour Skittles, like a ton. And you eat those orally? Every day. Literally a bag a day. Is that why you have those canker sores? Yes. Doesn't your mouth hurt? The blood? Of course, but that's how I made my three million. You have to sacrifice. Interesting. Yeah. Here I was thinking that it was just protein, but it's no, sour man. skittles. No, and no, fuck that protein. No, 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 no. Definitely don't use that protein ever. Don't use either protein. No, don't. So ever. if someone clipped that right now and put that all over the internet. <laughs> That's yeah, I would definitely back up that statement. <laughs> <laughs> I'd swear by it. It is going on my gravestone. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Please use Zula. It's actually what I'm drinking right now. It's amazing, man. It's crazy how I haven't gotten sick of it. You yeah, know? I switched. Well, I didn't switch. I had other proteins from before I switched to Zila, and I've been killing those because they're just sitting there. So I don't want to waste them. Yours is literally the best. And I finished one bag. I'm on one left, and I'm excited to go back to Zila. Phenomenal. Yeah, why? Why is that? Just because I put out the best product available on the market, like any time. It's going to be like that with Dobrix. It's going to be like that with the Zila. And it could have been like that with the podcast. It could have. <laughs> but... But that's okay. <laughs> you know, you, you win some, with, you lose some. What's wrong with the podcast? Nothing. We I just know. haven't really grown. But Why aside th- from that. So make us grow. Okay. Get us on other pods. Get us on Impulsive. It's my own fault. Yeah, because you started doing other stuff. We were doing great at first and then you left. That's what happens when the CEO gets his head too big and leaves. <clears throat> I had other opportunities. <laughs> <laughs> You just went to Paris. You fell in love. How'd that go? Wow. <laughs> it's a lot to unwind right there. Yeah, right there. <laughs> Big trip. That's like a 40-minute conversation just right there. Are you still talking to her? Yeah. She's, so She's coming July 15th. Catch people up who don't know. I mean, <sighs> fuck. If long you don't st- want to. No, long story short, Dave and I went to a club that, we were, that I wasn't supposed to go to because, you know, Dave dragged me out. Everyone went home. We're outside of the club. We can't get in for whatever reason. And these girls that are there as well cannot get in because they're wearing like running shoes or whatever. They didn't have the proper attire. So I went up to the guy and like I asked to buy a table to be able to get everybody in. So I did that. And before we got in, I noticed this girl and she was just like really cute, whatever. Um, then we go inside and like I'm, I'm in there for like an hour, maybe an hour and a half. And I was like... I really got to get this girl's Instagram, you know? So I get her Instagram, and I end up staying because, like, we end up talking, whatever. Long story short, uh, we went on a date the next day. And it was crazy because this was the first time in a fucking long time where I genuinely was interested in the person in front of me when I was on the date. Like, to the core. Like, I wanted to, like, know who this person truly was and, like, see her for who she is. Was it Paris, the setting, her? What is I it? I didn't think it was just her. Wow. I think, I mean, it was a combination of all, but, like, I don't know. I just, it was insane. It was fucking insane. I was, like, I, I couldn't believe what I was doing. And at this point, you were head over heels. You were leaving Paris to go to Mykonos. Yeah. And what happened? I flew her out to Mykonos. For how long? Uh, for two, three days, two days. I don't remember. I think three days. Have you guys been talking since? Yeah, every day. On the phone or just texting or what? Both. I mean, dude, it's so hard because like, you know, obviously when when you're together with, with somebody, it's like there's emotion involved and like physical touch, whatever. But when you're across the world and you're texting now, it's like it's such a drawback. Who's more likely to move? You there and give everything up or her here? I mean, I can't say right now. (laughs) Um, First thing to go would be this podcast, (laughs) and then I'd probably let Lazila go. (laughs) No, no. I mean, um, I I still have my own goals and my own aspirations. So I don't think that I would give that up. I don't think I would give it up for anything. When's she coming? July 15th. Oh, I can't wait to meet her. 
I can't wait for you to meet her either. Dude, you, she's so cool. Do you have a full list of activities to do together? No, but she's so interesting because she, um, before her like current phone, I think she's got like a 12 or 13 right now. Just recently she upgraded from an iPhone 4. She doesn't have TikTok. She like fucking plays guitar in her free time. She's like a very like, um, just, she's like a soul from like the 1940s. Did you tell her that you played drums? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> That's my favorite. <laughs> I just fit. no way I play drums <laughs> yeah I said two years I mean, you're not lying yeah <laughs> wow good for you what other highlights were there on the trip um that was my biggest highlight 100% did you write anything else down during the trip for the <laughs> podcast no I was just so immersed and submerged in my own like little fairy tale story that was going on for like the first five days that I I broke my fucking streak. Did you know that? Streak my of what? My workout streak. How many days did you work out in a row? 130. And you gave it up for her? Yeah. Wow, you're lovesick. I still can't believe it. Wow. Have you worked out since? Another you know reason is because, not that I didn't have time, I just didn't want to leave her. Wow. It's crazy. Does she work out? Yeah, she runs. Did you send her Zila yet? No, not yet. She what tried you- it though. She liked it. Yeah, she's a really smart girl too. She she's going to like this top university in Paris. Shit's crazy, huh? Yeah, shit is crazy. I'm happy for you. Thanks. What else? What else did you do while you were overseas? Okay, uh, first off, I'm gonna tell the audience right now. This whole like fairy tale love thing is much bigger than what I just made it out to be. In the sense of like, there's so much more to it, and there's so much more that I can talk about. But I just don't want to. Sp- I don't want to like say anything to keep it for yourself. Not even that. I just don't want to. Um, I don't want to. Oh, fuck. What's the word? Jinx. Yeah, I don't want to jinx it. Mm. Like whatever you yeah. know, whatever is gonna happen. So I'd rather not. But anyway, long story short, to end what that is, I met a really cool fucking girl, and I really like her a lot. And she's coming to visit, and we'll see how it goes. Hell yeah, yeah. What else did you do there? You know the Discovery Show. Yeah. That David has. When we go on that show, they have shit planned out for us from 7 a.m. to fucking 8 p.m., right? So there's never any lag time. It's always we're driving somewhere to do to go do something. And sometimes those things aren't the most fun, right, where it's kind of like, why the fuck are we here? What are we doing? But even though that's the case, you make the most of it with the people that you're with. And... It kind of makes you like appreciate when you go alone without discovering, without having like a planned schedule, how shitty it is to travel like without stuff to do. Without having that plan for you. Yeah, because, you know, most of what we did is fucking eat, walk a mile, find a cafe, have a coffee, go eat more, walk another mile, have a coffee, go eat more. Did you gain weight? Club. Oh, yeah. You did? Oh, yeah. Pasta there is insane. Uh, Well, I've said this before. In Europe, like the food is like good, but it's not like... It's not like anything you can't find in major cities in America. Oh, got it. Like L.A., New York, Chicago, they all have fucking insanely good food. Mm-hmm. So it's like very, uh, it's it's very comparable. You do anything extreme like uh, scuba diving, rock climbing, jumping off waterfalls, anything? Um, no, uh, I think I'm done with that part of my life. Yeah, um, yeah, mostly because of my shoulder. I just every time I like look at a situation, I evaluate it now because I'm like, is my shoulder gonna pop out or not? Right. If the answer is you know, over 20% yes, most of the time I'm like, I'm good. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's very, it's very sad, actually. My shoulder's completely healed from working out. Hmm. It doesn't hurt at all anymore. I could do that, full bench press good. and everything. That's good. But yeah, it, it was really fun, but uh, Mykonos kind of sucked. Why? Because it was windy as fuck for like the full three, four days that we were there. Like, w- like when I'm talking about windy, bro, I'm not talking like a little wind. I'm talking like 20 mile an hour winds. Every day. Every day, 20 mile an hour winds. You you did something to surprise Zane and Heath when you got there. Yeah. You changed your identity. <laughs> you had a wig, an outfit. You looked nothing like you. Yeah. How'd you get through TSA like that? I actually don't remember. I think that... <laughs> Well, so one time I was going through TSA with my wig on. We're going to post a picture on our Instagram of what Ilya looked like going through TSA, (laughs) through airport security, going to another country. (laughs) So the first time I went through TSA, I didn't take my wig off. In America? Yes. Um, 
and I showed the guy my photo, and you didn't take the wig off. Okay, no. that makes sense. Yeah, because like you know, we're in 2022. People wear wigs, whatever. Right, and if anything, you're just wearing a different outfit that you normally don't wear. Right, they don't know your style. No, they don't know my style. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but one time it was really funny. I, I was I was in uh, Canada and I was going through TSA, and they were looking at me. They're like, "This is you." <laughs> I'm like, "Yeah, I just have a wig on." You said you had a wig on. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Um, and that was that. They didn't ask why. No, but it was really funny. I was just <laughs> hiding my identity. Me, oh. me, dude, me. I, so I had to take my wig off one time, and me going through like TSA security trying to put my wig back <laughs> back on was really funny. Yeah. He was like, "What is this lunatic doing?" Dude, were you, I, I had so many looks. I had so many looks. Were you sitting near everybody on the plane? Yes, I was sitting like, like across from Heath, pretty much the whole time. Yeah, and he had no idea. No idea. And I asked him, I'm like, what What the fuck did you think? He's like, dude, I thought you were a celebrity, some sort of celebrity, <laughs> like trying to hide his identity. I, Dude, I had to change my walk. Yeah. The way I fucking, oh my God, the fucking lady on the plane, she's like, <clears throat> she goes up to me. This is on This is on the plane ride to uh, Paris, the, uh, the, the stewardess. And she goes, <laughs> she goes, how shall I, <laughs> how should I um, not enunciate? Uh, and Address you? Yes. How should I address you, Mr. I- Ilya? Oh, shut up! Or Mr. Fedorovich? <laughs> I'm like, shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! I made it this far. <laughs> shut the fuck up! I literally, I like, I, I like, I'm whispering, I'm whispering to her. I'm like, Ilya's okay. <laughs> and she's like, and she goes, what? I go, Ilya's okay. She goes, okay, Mr. Ilya. <laughs> I'm like, God damn it. If she, this fucking woman rats me out on accident, yeah. I would be so pissed. That's so funny. Yeah. Yeah, my God. Dude, that was such... Dude, that was the most fucking painful 24 hours of my life. Because the wig hurt, the fucking glasses hurt, and I had a mask on. Did you even enjoy first class? For- <laughs> Fuck no. I could barely breathe <laughs> in first class, bro. It was brutal. So anyways, we land and, you know, I surprise him or whatever. And he had no idea. It was a really, really good. It was a really good reaction that he had. You know what a fun fact I just learned? Hmm. In space, astronauts have to wear diapers because the G-force is so intense. They can't control their bowel movements. Like when they're going up to space and or when they're already in space? When they're taking off, they have to wear diapers. Oh, what the fuck? Isn't that crazy? So, like, is it guaranteed that you're going to shit yourself? I think so. Like, obviously, if you have it in you, I'm sure you you literally can't control it. You just have no choice. Oh, my God. Crazy. Really? Yeah. It makes me want to be an astronaut. Hmm. Get to wear diapers. That's crazy. I didn't know that. Yeah. I guess I'm the fat guy now. <laughs> Did you see how many fucking steps I walked in Paris? 37,000? Did your yeah. feet fall off? Dude, so I ran. I, th- th- this is what I was, t- I was talking to Zayn Heath about this the other day. We don't realize... How inactive we are. Unactive. Right. Most people walk like 3,000 steps a day. More. In Paris? You're oh, pro- I mean like here in America. Because like you're working. Like- yeah, because think about it. The average person with a 9 to 5 job that doesn't work out gets up, goes to their car, goes to the office, gets back in their car, goes home. What is that? 1,000 steps? 2,000 steps maybe, if that. Right. And like if you're not working out, you're not doing anything, that's it. That's all you get. That's like that's insane. Did your feet hurt? No. Anyways, my point is, for you to make up for that, you have to run three, four miles. And if you're doing that, if here, if you're running three, four miles a day on top of what you usually walk, you're still getting the average of what the the pair the person you're in paying. Paris is walking without working out at all. Yeah. You know, isn't that crazy? Very cool. Yeah, they're walking like ten thousand steps a day, easy because they're fucking walking everywhere. That's why a lot of people when they go to Europe they lose weight. Regardless yeah. of how much food they eat, they're just walking everywhere, so they're constantly burning it. It's so interesting how many skinny people there are. In Europe? Yeah. Is I'm everyone like, pretty there? N- I mean, not everybody, but Paris has a lot of beautiful women. Like, a lot, a lot of beautiful women. You fall in love with any chicks or dudes? Yeah, maybe one. Everyone's asking me if I'm in love, and I'm like, I don't fucking know what that means. What does that mean? Like, do I really like this person? Do I want to spend the rest of my life with her? Yeah. But, like, am I in love? I don't know. The way you responded to that was like a fourth grader. I don't know if I'm in love. <laughs> no, Maybe. But re- no, but really, like, like, can you explain to me, like, what that means? If you're in love, are you constantly thinking about her? Do you want to spend every minute with her? Are you thinking about what she's doing? Do you want yeah. to, is all you want to do, like, you don't even want to be here right now? You want to just go talk to her? Yeah. You're yeah. in love. 
I don't know if that's love, though. Yeah, there's no dex, uh, definition. Okay, great. It, it's whatever you think. Okay, okay. But it seems like you are because you never talk or think about anybody else except yourself. That's true. <laughs> I am pretty self-centered. <laughs> like, come to think about it. Does she realize what she did to you? Like, does she? Does the girl realize how serious this is? The fact that like you're focused on her. I don't know. I I can't. I don't know. I can't like be the one to say that to her though. I'm not gonna. I, you know what I mean? Like, if it comes from me, where it's like I don't do this to anybody. Yeah. Like, you know, then she's gonna be like, oh, that's kind of weird. But it's gotta come from like people that go the opposite. Tell her you do this to everybody. Why? You're not that special. I do this <laughs> with everybody I meet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this is like, this is probably ten steps further than I've taken with fucking anybody. Yeah, in a long time. I know. In a long time. Trust me, I know. You gotta hype me up when she gets here. Oh, I'm going to. Oh, you dope. Uh, do you want to have her on the pod? Uh, I don't know about that, but yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> In 1985, 370,000 kids went to Fort Lauderdale for spring break. Okay. And 10,000 of them died? <laughs> no. 2000, so there's, nothing, there's nothing cool about this? 2,500 people got arrested. Oh, wow. Yeah, spring breakers are crazy. I actually never had like a crazy spring break experience. I don't think it, think it exists how it used to. Because back then, that was when MTV first came around, so they were airing it, and it was like, oh, where, where do you go? On TV. Yeah, yeah, Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. Like, that was the spot. But there was just, like, swarms and swarms of people, and, like, you can't walk around the streets. It's like Mardi Gras there. Yeah, I, I actually, like, that was, like, my, my, my fetish, just to have, like, a spring break that's, like, fucking wild. Just, like, getting drunk, fucked up every day at the beach in Mexico or whatever. You yeah. Know? But it never happened for some reason. Have you ever been to Mardi Gras? No, but I, I've gotten invited, but I've never been. I went the first day once. It was really cool. What is that? It's in... Like, what, what is Mardi Gras? You just, like, walk around the streets, and it's just a huge party, and girls flash their boobies, and you throw them beads. Actually. Yeah. I'm watching... I just watched this new series on Netflix. It's called Web, Web of Make Believe, and it's a series that goes through all the fucked up shit that happens on the internet. Highly recommend it. Like... I was glued to the fucking TV. The first series, they talked about swatting. Ooh. And, dude, let me tell you. Do you want me to spoil it for you or not? Because yeah. it's fucking insane. If you don't want to be spoiled, skip this part. So, yeah. even Honestly, even if I say this, it's still fucking unreal. Okay. So, they, they go through talking about how swatting has become a thing. And they basically run through this guy's history of... of calling colleges and calling like whatever to make bomb threats and to like evacuate buildings and shit obviously these are all fake calls right and this guy does it for i don't know two five years two five years this guy this two, guy seven this 14. guy this guy does it for a couple years and he has maybe 30 40 instances of swatting but they don't know this at this point. No, they do. I, the guy's gone to jail and like whatever. He's just addicted to swatting. Oh, what the fuck? It, yeah, super weird. Super weird fetish this fucking guy has because like he's there's no there's no um, there's no payoff for him. No, it's just like like your spring break fetish is normal. My foot fetish completely cool. This weird. Right. So this this guy swats this house, and it was apparently like this his buddy's house, and his buddy gave him the wrong address on purpose. So the SWAT team shows up to this wrong address that this fucking guy called. Imagine this is my fetish and I do it to you. Yeah, what hotel room are you in? <laughs> so the SWAT team shows up. And, you know, for those of you who don't know what SWATing is, it's the SWAT team. Like, the police show up to your house with a helicopter. They surround your house. And it's usually, they usually get called if there's a serious... If there's, like, a kidnapping, yeah, someone's or, in, their life is in danger. It's murder, really fucked yeah, up. Yeah, like, really fucked up. Like, someone calls and goes, my daughter was just killed by my husband, please help. Something like that. Yeah. So the SWAT team shows up to this address that's not the correct address. Fucking, they, they surround the house. Dude walks outside. Dude gets shot. <gasps> Random dude. Random fucking dude gets shot. So now there's this whole fucking thing on the internet about what happened. And swatting, and this guy's like coming out and saying, actually, Keemstar did an interview interview with him, 
about how like w- were you in the wrong were you not in the wrong and the guy's like he's like fucking insane he's like well i didn't shoot him I, you know i just that was the, that was a cop's fault and there's this whole thing about the fucking cop getting arrested because he shot the guy there's so many different fucking people involved because this dumbass called a SWAT team on the wrong house wow. called a SWAT team in general so then the story continues and the daughter ends up committing suicide because her dad was killed. That that was her dad that was killed by a SWAT team. Oh my god. <clears throat> and I believe there was also one more person that also committed suicide, shot themselves in the head. And where's the guy now? In jail? The guy was sentenced to 20 years in prison. Yeah. Wow. But dude, it it like I I explained it very very choppy. But it's an insane story. What other what other things did they cover? Uh, they covered um, like the whole WikiLeaks scandal. Oh wow! With like Hillary Clinton, um, they cover a lot. It's fucking good. I'll check it out. Highly recommended, dude. I'm telling you, I was like, whoa, 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 what the fuck? Because of this one person's actions, as a joke, this fucking guy did it as a joke because he was mad at his friend for betting for losing a dollar fifty on Call of Duty. Wow. Called the fucking SWAT team on the wrong address. Guy gets shot. Two people commit suicide because the guy was shot. The fucking officer is now blamed. And this guy's like, I didn't do anything. That's so fucked. Didn't you get SWAT? You got swatted when you were at someone's house once. And didn't the helicopter come and you were like, you walked outside? Yeah. And you thought they were just like looking around. You went out and you waved to them? Yeah, dude. That could have been so dangerous. Yeah. Like I could have gotten shot. That's so fucked. So fucked. And it's crazy there's no way to control that. Like, the police have no idea whether it's true or not, so they take it with 100% seriousness. Yeah, it's really scary. Speaking of shows, I watched the We Crashed on Apple TV. Mm -hmm. Really good show. It's about the WeWork company, and the CEO, you'd appreciate it because the CEO is kind of a little out there, and you're a CEO, so you can kind of follow his footsteps. Well, why is he out there? What does he do? He's just like, he's just this wacky, crazy guy that just did outlandish things to try and get his company known. And they weren't making any money. And he just kept taking more funding and more funding and more funding. And he had this huge evaluation. And then they went public. And then people went to the records and found out like what he was really doing. And they ended up crashing. It's called We Crashed. Damn. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. There'd be photos of him walking outside in New York City with like no shoes on. And then his wife would do some pretty extreme extraneous stuff but it's called we crashed we crashed it's eight episodes on apple plus it's with jared leto and anne hathaway and it's really well shot really well put together oh this is uh like a recreation this isn't a a documentary no but it follows the real life events and it follows their story of how they started how they got their funding and how it ended wow really good have you seen um legend with tom hardy no watch that okay it's good. It's weird, but it's good. I'm going to see Elvis tonight. With Dave? No. <laughs> <laughs> what time are you going? Uh, probably like 6. Oh, okay, he's going at like 10.30. I'll fall asleep. I go to sleep at 10. <laughs> yeah. Do you know the same guy who plays Elvis is Napoleon Dynamite? No. Isn't that nuts? Oh, wow. Now nah, I'm lying. Oh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Got me. <laughs> I think that was a TikTok trend. Someone said that uh, it was the same guy. And a bunch of people believed him. <laughs> so you copied the TikTok trend? Yeah, I, I double pranked you. Nice. I guess whatever's trending. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the other day I went to Fat Borgata, the gelato place by our house. Yeah. I'm doing different samples and then I tell the guy what I want and this kid walks right in front of me. I swear to God, she must have shat herself. Fart cloud all over me. You would have stormed out. It was awful like a really dirty diaper and just as i'm starting to get the whiff of it he takes my gelato puts it right in the far cloud oh no i felt like i was eating shit what did you say did you eat it of course oh okay (laughs) it tasted like shit but it tasted good ew yeah dude we ate so much in europe what was the best thing you ate there you you don't understand what was the best thing? okay well i'm gonna tell you right now the coffee in europe is unmatched it's a way of life it's unmatched yeah Coffee, cigarette, coffee, cigarette, coffee, cigarette, coffee, cigarette. That's all I do. That's all I do. <laughs> you got to stop the cigarettes. I, n- I understand. But you got to. I'm, I'm, I'm no longer in Europe, so I'm no longer smoking them. You promise? Yes. One friend to another. For reals? Yes, for reals. Okay. I had probably, I'm not joking, I probably had 8 to 12 coffees a day. Wow. Yeah. That's a lot. I mean, they're amazing. 
Okay. I mean, they're amazing. It's like life changing. Did one shop stick out to you more than the other? Are yes, there-, there was one in Paris. I went there with Zane and Heath. Oh my fucking god, that coffee was good. What'd you get? Just black? Uh, coffee americano. Yeah, I always get cream and sugar coffee americano. It's so funny because you say cream to them, but they don't know what cream is. So they're like, "What the fuck is cream?" And then we're like, "Crema," and they're like, "You mean milk?" Yeah. And we're like, "Yeah, yeah, milk, milk." Oh, yeah, yeah. Because they usually, yeah, they usually don't have it with pizza. Uh, pizza in Italy, you know, it's good. Again, pasta. Again, no. That's, you. I'm calling you out. That's bullshit. I'm telling you. You're wrong. There's no way you can taste the difference between pasta in Italy and pasta here. It's no literally way. made differently. In what way? Different ingredients. In what different ingredients? You don't get like bloated up. They do it Americanized over here. Over there, they do it no, how it's bro, supposed to be done. Bro, there's Italians doing pasta here exactly how they would do it in Italy. They just copy the recipe. You're so ignorant. No, I'm, You know I'm right. You're like half right. No, I'm like 80% right. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'll give you like 40%. Maybe. What? Yeah. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> My girlfriend didn't know what a deep fake was. Do you know what it is? I didn't know it uh, until about like six months ago. I didn't know you had a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> she's great. We're keeping our relationship offline. Her name's Caitlin. She's awesome. Nice. Anyways. Yeah, she's cool. <laughs> she didn't know what a deep fake was. Mm-hmm. And a deep fake is basically like new technology where you just put. Hey, you don't have to explain it to me. I'm explaining to. I'll look over there. That way people don't talk to them. <laughs> a deep fake is I where you get to. We're on a podcast. Like, why are you telling me? I just told you. I know what it is. <laughs> what is it? Is it computer software? I don't know what the fuck it is. Long story it's basically short, like a face filter. Yeah. It's a face filter. And there's this guy online and he does Tom Cruise deep fake. Yes. And he sounds like him. I got faked out by that motherfucker. Yeah. The, like a year ago, I was like, I showed David TikTok and I'm like, bro, isn't this crazy Tom Cruise is on this? That's what she said. Yeah, She's yeah. like, I can't believe Tom Cruise is like doing Top Gun and he does all these movies. And like, here he is drinking coffee with TikTokers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's insane. That, Dude. That filter is so fucking real. It's gonna fuck people up one day. Yes, it will. Something Actually, happened I, with Joe Rogan where someone deep faked him. I read an article where it was like, it's going to be a problem in the future because people will literally not know who the fuck is who. You could just do you the know, president and say you, something. You know the fucking... Um, yes, exactly. You know the the episode of SpongeBob where there's two... Two SpongeBobs? Uh, no, there's two um, Mr. Krabs. Is, is he, one a robot? Yeah, one's a robot. <laughs> yeah. SpongeBob can't tell the difference. Yeah. <laughs> Even though it's clear one of them is... <laughs> <laughs> Everything relates back to SpongeBob. Yeah, yeah so it's gonna be like that. <laughs> do you have a secret Krabby Patty formula, like for Zila? Do you have a recipe that you like keep secret? Yeah, of course. Where is it? Well, if I told you, it wouldn't be a secret. Is it in a vault? Where? In a vault? <laughs> yeah. No, what would make you think that it's in a vault? It is in a vault, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> is it somewhere? No. It's all up here. You're gonna have to go into my brain for it. Torture me. Now I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Three scoops of sugar. <laughs> I have a proposal. As we close out this podcast. Also, our merch is still available. Lightweight's pod. Is there much left? There's like 10 left. Oh, that's great. Guys, if you get it now, we're going to send you a cameo. You want to do that tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. We'll send you the cameos tomorrow from Ilya's phone. So go order it. Lightweight's pod. As soon as this goes up, we're going to start recording the cameo. So if you want one, lightweightspod.com, get the merch. We're at like 4,100 reviews on our Apple podcast ratings. Really? 4,100. Wow. It's a lot. How? Because people like us. If we Is get a lot of five stars? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All oh, five. Oh, six, six. If we get That's to, a lot. If we get to 4,500... Yeah. We bleach our hair blonde. No. You don't wanna? Oh, I got my girl coming. When's she coming? July fifteenth. Yeah, let's do it. She loves blondes. No, she doesn't. Alright, fine. Do you wanna do something else? Sure. <laughs> what do you wanna do? You wanna do green? No. <laughs> do you really wanna do no, I'll do no, blue. The, the honestly the the reason that um I don't wanna do it is I have a co- couple different photo shoots for Zila. And one of them is recreating a photo from 300. Okay. So I, I can't be blonde for that. Okay, that's fair. But but anything else, I'm, I mean, you want to get like a nose piercing or maybe eye tattoos? I'll do eye tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe comment, leave in the reviews what we should do. And oh, if, yeah, yeah, yeah. Give us if, an idea. But we have to get to 4,500 reviews by next week. Okay. Okay. Damn. Damn.
Good. Great. Fantastic. Bye, Waves. Huh? Huh? What? Out. <laughs> <laughs> Penis.